Hello, welcome, I'm Mas Min Tong Gu, and today I'm excited to share with you how to have more energy, especially for health, for life in general. <laughs> and uh, in general, the common complaint about life, yeah, no matter what is our personal challenges, personal stories, even personal crisis, no matter how we are complaining, you know, verbally, non-verbally, really the main complaint is really about I don't have enough energy. <laughs> but simply, it's, it's, it's bodily direct experience. When you feel you don't have enough energy, then you can to, you know, feel challenged by something and you will feel, you know, the need to complain about something. So, Otherwise, when you have enough energy, you can imagine, yeah, no matter what you experience, yeah, whatever challenge, problem, issue you may face, you feel okay. You feel, you know, have the energy to work with it. You become inspired, proactive, even excited about by certain challenge of life in general. <laughs> That's how, you know, life thrives in general. When everything is perfectly fine without any level of challenge, I think you will feel bored eventually. <laughs> so, and the main complaint against is the feeling of not enough energy. So first of all, even this is a common complaint, yeah, one way or another, but deeply, it's a myth when we say, I don't have enough energy. The fact is, you have all the energy you need in your bodily system. But what is true is the energy, if the energy is not activated, yeah, the energy, if it's not moving, it's not communicating, it's not you know, effectively fulfilling the life purpose, then that's the feeling come out of it feel not enough energy, but actually the energy is still there <laughs> inside your body, always there, but has been numbed, yeah, blocked, suppressed, yeah. not being able to tap into the energy for life in general. Yeah. It's like in sleep, in sleep. So what Qigong specializes is connecting with your own body and get inside the place where you're feeling the energy stuck, the energy is suppressed. And the best place to discover the energy is where you're feeling discomfort. There's more energy waiting for you beneath the pain, beneath the discomfort, beneath the emotional stress in the organ, beneath even the mental stress. It's contracted. This stress is contracted energy. So when the energy opens up from contraction, then the energy frees up, become part of the life force, become the fuel for health, for healing, for life engagement. And that's the secret of Qigong. Yeah. And that's the first secret, is go into your body, awakening the energy, opening the energy, reconnecting the energy again, slow the movement, yeah, moving energy, awakening energy. Slow the sound, slow the vibration. You're awakening the vibrational activation of energy inside of you, including the emotional the dynamic, in emotional power inside of you. When you do visualization, you're mentally awakening the energy. Allow the energy to connect, to open, to fulfill its deeper purpose. So that is the first uh, aspect, is accessing, activating the internal energy to greater flow, to greater purpose, greater function of mind, body, heart, and spirit. So the second secret is equally important, is connecting the energy beyond the internal body, even beyond what you see in front of you, beyond the physical phenomena, connecting with the invisible energy, the formless energy. Often we're speaking of, you know, the direct experience when you spend enough time in the nature, you automatically feel recharged. So not only the beauty, the form of the tree, the rock, the water, and the sky, yeah, it feels good, but subtle energy of the nature is charging you. 
when you relax, when you open your mind, open your heart, relax in your body, allow the energy to recharge yourself. So in Qigong is we go beyond just beauty of the nature, beyond just the form energy of the nature. You tap into the formless energy, the invisible energy. When you visualizing the energy channel opens up from your feet, connecting with the earth. From the earth, the energy gathering deeply into your feet, into your leg, into your entire body, energizing deeply all the organ inside of you, the cell inside of you, all the way to the brain. Then opening the energy to the infinity universe above you, feeling, imagining the infinite energy of the universe is available, pouring in, gathering into your brain, continuously down, nourishing your heart, nourishing all the organ, nourishing every cells. So that is a simple meditation you can do anytime, gathering the energy from the universe, gathering the energy from the nature, from any place at home, even if you're living in a city, you still can connect with the energy of the nature. Even in your office, <laughs> in your living room, any places. So you tap into greater energy resources, infinite energy resources of all creation, and your body can feel that, feel recharged. You're like, you are, think of your own energy body like rechargeable battery but you have to plug into the charger. In this case, the charger is the universe, the largest charge ever existed. <laughs> so you plug in there, you naturally recharge yourself. So that's the second aspect. Yeah. The first is really you know, allowing the internal energy function more effectively, more optimum, more in home. So these two aspects equally important. And the third is about cultivating the purpose of life, the passion of life, the interconnectedness of life in everything we do. And that's something we're going to talk about in the next video. So, how la to you, to your life, to your house. <laughs>